day everyone, welcome to the stream, we are back on this Sunday morning for some more Sniper Elite 5. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good introduction, I guess, for today. I'm sorry, I just lost my train of thought, but uh, thanks everybody for dropping by as usual, are they watching this live, watching this VOD, it's much appreciated. Um, yeah, a few things to start off with, I guess, um, just trying to think on the top of my head, is that I wasn't too sure what I was going to stream today, or what exactly in Sniper Elite 5, I was going to stream Sniper Elite 5, no matter what, so that's fair enough. But I was just trying to think, what did I want to do? And then I was just messing about yesterday, uh, practicing a few things, or you know, working out a few things in the game, and I thought, you know what, I forgot that with the Landing Force mission, I have not completed it yet on Authentic Difficulty. So, um, yeah, I've done Wolf Mountain on Authentic, we did Conqueror last week on Authentic, um, and then Landing Forces, we only did it on Sniper Elite Hard, so yeah, we'll definitely do this on Authentic for today, and I think I might do a bit of a mess around and, and play around in the mission, um, so might not be as too serious as I normally am, but uh, I'm trying to think maybe we'll, we'll try a different weapon, uh, one weapon that I've hardly ever used, and a pistol I hardly ever used because I pretty much stick to everything. Hey, Zero, how's it going, mate? Uh, sorry, Leandro, how's it going, mate? Hope everything's getting your neck of woods. Uh, the best the best player um oh very kind of you to say that thank you very much um so yeah just a few things i'll get off the top of my head and i'll probably repeat later on is that a few days ago or was it last week i think it's a few days ago i did ask on the community tab whether you know since we're playing sniper elite 5 all this time and pretty much my whole channel is on sniper elite 5 all the videos i've made and the streams um would you guys still want me to continue Sniper Elite 5 or would you want me to play some other first or third person games? Um, now, pretty much a lot of you voted, which is amazing. I uh, didn't really expect so many people to vote. Uh, last count I saw, let me just see, I just wrote this down, easier than checking on the monitor. Uh, we had 68 votes and 82% of you guys wanted to see more Sniper Elite 5 stuff. So more videos, more gameplay, which is great. Um, so that's about 56 votes said yes and then i'm assuming 12 said uh they would like to see other stuff that's fine um i'm thinking you know what other things can we play as well that's in the same vein of first person third person that's gonna be interesting that's gonna be i guess a bit of a relaxed atmosphere um i know you know i like playing call of duty but most of that would be for multiplayer and when i'm playing a multiplayer game then i be, tend to be a bit more focused on the screen and less on the chat so yeah it's good in terms but uh hey pretty much everybody who plays Call of Duty, or I've seen a lot, they stream it on Twitch or YouTube already, so that's quite uh, a lot of, uh, I guess I want to call it saturation, for lack of a better term. But, uh, yeah. Um, sorry, Leandro. Leandro, what happened there with stream elements again? Um, if it's capital letters, then I'm not sure. Give me a second. What happened there? Sorry about that. I wasn't paying attention to the chat. Uh, what do I need to do? I need to go out tab. Yep. Bear me for a second, what happened here? I have no idea, is it because of too many repeat um, exclamation marks? I might need to check into stream elements later on, sorry about that mate. It doesn't make sense to me why it's timed you out. Uh, I think stream elements by default is very iffy. Give me a second, I need to write that down, I'll just forget. Uh, apologies for that, I think it's just by default setting, stream elements is a bit overprotective. So let me just write this down. Uh, stream elements. Uh, what do you put like um, emotes or something or icons, um, something like that. Sorry about that, mate. Um, but anyway, back to what I was saying was that, yeah, the games are gonna play uh, shoot, you know, Sniper Elite 5 I want to focus on as well. Um, I didn't add the shooters, I will. Call of Duty for campaigns, okay, but uh, it's very, what's the word? Once again, that's one of the other games where you can be a lot focused on the, on the game all the time, so it leaves less time for me to, I guess, maybe chat to everybody. So that's one thing I just want to keep aware of. Um, so there we go. I might test something out later on, uh, but for now we're doing Sniper Elite 5 and also doing um, Landing Force on Authentic Difficulty. Um, and also, last check. Uh, we had hit 863 subs, so thank you everybody for 
subscribing, watching the videos, liking, commenting, all that jazz uh, really does mean a lot. Hey, Starry Bear, how's it going, mate? Good evening from Florida. Hey, I hope everything's okay in your neck of the woods. Damn, that's a favorite term of mine to say. I think because I've watched El Roca so much when I was a kid on late night TV. Well, it's late night over a year when they do repeats of the Today Show, but it's early morning, of course, in America. But yeah, I hope everything's okay in your area and everybody else no matter where you are hope everything's fine um in light of i guess what's happening around the world and all that stuff but anyway gonna go through authentic degree on landing force um i'm gonna change a few things let me just say so um changing to this okay so load out what we can see yep i'm gonna try out the win and co 1885 customized uh reason being i haven't used it much and it's pretty much uh, one bullet in the chamber, so you got to reload after every shot, so it makes it a bit more difficult. The scope on it is not going to be quite as far as a 10 times authentic zoom as what I use in the M1903. Uh, we're using one of a 6 times zoom, so it's a bit less. Um, I don't really like the scope on it, though, the, the lines, um, but I guess that's what it is because we're stuck with it. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go with that anyway. Uh, Larry Jones, how's it going? Oh, hello from Oklahoma. Hello to you too. Uh, that is my favorite part. Uh, that's my favorite powerful. Oh, the Win and Co. Is it? Oh, I guess it's. I like it how it's different. I don't know if it's following you know real life weapons, but you know, um, to me it feels like this weapon you had to make one shot count. And yeah, it is very powerful. One I've seen. Um, enemies go flying when you shoot them. Oh, they, they twirl a lot in the air, so, yeah. But uh, with this one, um, I'm not sure. But yeah, you can see it says, Extreme Stopping Power. Saying what does it say on the bottom right? The winning coal falling block rifle chambered in the massive 50 to 110 caliber. That's 110 caliber? Oh, snap. Uh, with extreme power, with extreme stopping power, but a very slow way of fire. Slow but powerful and accurate, yeah. Accurate, but... Uh, I guess if we had a higher scope, we'd do, but on authentic, of course, it's not. Um, that's fine, no worries. Um, pistol, I'm gonna test out the H, what's it called again? <laughs> HS22. Um, reason being that I haven't used it much before. Um, it makes it a bit more difficult as well because there's no uh, optic zoom on it compared to the 1911, which I've been using so much, so. I guess a bit of a challenge to play Landing Force on Authentic Difficulty with a gun that I'm not really used to, and or two guns I'm not used to. Um, but I am falling back to the Machine Pistol 40 as backup, just in case. Hey, Miss Dixon, how's it going? Uh, hi from SE. Ooh, you probably need to let me know what SE is if you want to tell me that. Um, I could make things up. Southern England? Uh, South Ecuador? Seattle? Uh, sorry, I'm just making things up. I'm not too sure there anyway. But uh, we'll try out that. And <clears throat> give me a second. I'm just trying to think what else we need to do in Landing Force. I believe it got a really loud bang too. Yeah, it's got a loud bang. Um, that's why I'm using a suppressor on the wind code. Did I have a suppressor? I think I did. I was testing this yesterday just to see how it was like. And one thing that kind of always draws me into this game is that I said, oh yeah, I'll go into a map test it out, see what it's like, just so I can get used to it. But I end up playing quite a bit of the mission as well. I'm going, um, yeah, I better stop playing, otherwise I'm just going to finish it. So, no worries. Um, what else am I missing? Just Sorry, just checking. Uh, audio's okay, everything, everything's fine this side. Sorry, I always get an idea in my head that something's stuffing up. It's just my, in, my, in my mind. But, uh, yeah, okay. So, now, let me see. Service record. Hey, put up pass. How's it going, mate? Hope everything's getting okay in your neck. Was God damn it! I gotta stop saying that. Oh well. Uh, absolutely obliterates enemies. Yeah, it does. If you can get good targeting, yeah, it's fine. Um, so medals, 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 medals. Sweden. Ah, is that what SE stands for? Sweden. Okay. So then, S S W Switzerland. Sorry, I have no idea on geography. Being in Australia. All we got to care about here is one big massive island, which is a continent, and that's it. But Europe, of course, you got so many countries in the area, and it always blows my mind. I'm thinking, or when I was when I was younger, is that, uh, oh, Australia is this big? Oh, is it the same size as say England? And then when you when I check England, 
or the UK, sorry, to Australia, I'm like, holy crap, the UK is really tiny in comparison. And then when I check Australia to the size of Europe, I'm going, holy crap. So going a bit off tangent, but, you know, one thing I kind of envy about in Europe is that you can go to multiple countries in a day or you can, you know, travel through so many countries and drive, you can spend hours driving and you'll reach other places and experience other cultures, if you want to call it. In Australia, hell, in my state, Western Australia, I could have been driving for hours and I'm still in the same state. So, yeah, we're a massive country, blah, blah, blah. But uh, if you want to go on a big road trip, yeah, yeah um, that's going to be like a few days. For, to, to drive from where I live in Western Australia to, so like Sydney and the other side of the country, um, we did it when we were younger, when I was younger, because for dad's work, we moved from, we moved from Sydney to Perth. Um, for a couple of days, at least, I think, was it Adelaide to, Adelaide to Western Australia, so South Australia to Perth, it was for three days, yeah. Of course, you know, we stopped to sleep overnight, sleep at nighttime, you know, we slept in the car actually, but uh, it's a long, big place to drive. So anyway, off tangent, thanks for being here, wherever you are, if you're from Europe, great, I'd love to go there, back there once again. I got, I got family in London, so I'll probably will visit one more time. When I can, but as I was saying, anyway, back to the game. So I went off on a tangent. Um, what haven't I done? Okay, so we need more headshots over 100 meters with the winning co. Pistol. Um, the HS22. I need. Ooh, okay, we need one more kill to get the uh, the the bronze medal for ghost kills. And yeah, definitely got a lot to do. Okay, so just messing about. Um. But UK is a very dense population mass. Yeah, it does. Um, the UK is, I think, the city of London. I could be wrong. Yeah, city of London has more people than the whole of Australia. So I think Australia has about twenty-two million. Last count, I could be wrong. And yeah, but when I went to London, of course, it's packed as everything. But one thing I kind of like am envious about, so like London, England, or whatever. You got so much history there. You know, thousands of years Australia's history. Uh, since settlement was what 1788 so what that's just over 200 years or so and there is history yeah but because we're so <clears throat> vast and ma massive pretty much Perth is the most one of the most isolated cities in the world so we can't just say oh look I'm just going to drive to the next city and you know f for for a day we can't do that we've got to fly there even flying takes about five hours um if you lived in Sydney, you could probably drive to Melbourne in five hours, but yeah, there's no way we can get anywhere quick. So that's, a, that's one of the downsides um, of being in Australia. But hey, I love the the whole, what's the word? Um, feels like a more relaxed atmosphere. Yeah, everything's slower paced. There's more space in a way you want to call it. That's it. Anyway, enough talking. I'll get to the game in a moment, guys. Just getting uh, con car, uh, off track. Um... Born in the UK though. Okay, nice, Miss Dixon. How's it going? Hey, Brennan, how's it going, mate? Hope everything's okay in your neck of woods. Um, yeah, we'll start this. Actually, I'm going to spawn here at the, what's this one called? South Ridge. I don't know why, but for me, the main spawn point, what's this one's called? The top one? Dead Man Cove. Um, I don't really like the spawn area because as soon as you come down here, you've got four enemies to deal with. You've got a boat patrolling. And you can't really be too stealthy at the start, or you can, but it takes a bit of time. So I'm going to spawn near the south ridge. So the plan is complete object objectives, do what I need to do. Actually, what was the one I'm missing? Um, I think I got to yeah, neutralize the anti-air guns. Okay. So the only thing I haven't done so far is to complete this game on authentic difficulty and also take out the anti-air guns. And I think I've got one personal data to find and one workbench to find. I think the workbench is in the fort. So we'll see how that we go with that one. Okay. So South Ridge, Wind Co, HS22. Um, yep. Let's do that. Oops. Gotta change my monitor setting for myself. Our boys are going to be hitting the okay. We'll skip the chatty chatty. Time to get to work. Okay. Oop. Oh, nah, I won't bother trying to get it from here. Okay, so let's go to Subsonic. 
Actually, should I spawn with armor piercing rounds? Man, maybe not. Okay. Subjectives, disable the radio communications. Yep. What's the map tell us again? Disable radio communications, destroy the battery, kill the target. Yeah, I'm not too fast about the target at the moment, but we'll see how we go. Oops, let me just shoot here. Yeah. Fort. Looks like the Nazis are using this area to coordinate comms. Oh, there's a Nicely done. Uh, so, give me a sec. Just gotta put my phone on mute just in case. <laughs> okay, so the plan is to have some fun. Let me bring on the map. Um, I'm gonna work my way to the tower here and we'll snipe the hell out of everything that we can, right? Um, and then from there, we'll need to work our way to the fort to take out the radio comms and also find the workbench. Uh, and then of course, maybe work our way back to not only destroy the gun battery, but then we got the two AA guns to get rid of here, isn't it? Um, and then also we did take out the U-boat last time we played. So I might try that as well, but see how we go. This guy have anything good? Nothing else. Oh, I had a truck. Soldier in the... What's that? The bunker? That's it, the bunker. Hey, bottles. Hey, Dean, how's it going, mate? Everything's okay in your neck of the woods. God damn it, I keep saying it every single time. I'm so used to saying that. I mean, I said it to one of my friends as well, because, you know, we all know about the Today Show now, Roka. Ooh, there's another truck behind me. Hmm. Swapping the pistol. But yeah, anyway, how is everybody? Um, What you been up to? You been playing any games? Like I've struck gold. Seriously, this, this guy didn't hear me take out this other guy. Fair enough. Um, oops, that's a motorbike. A year. What were your footsteps down there? Holy crap. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Ghost kill. the lighthouse I need to shut that off once the guns are taken care of play missions on 75 region on I get smashed and get odd victory good be fun nice uh, I'll read more chat in a moment I'm just concerned about getting by you uh, I can see the silhouette of the guy up ahead can we Damn, it's hard to try and aim properly with um, no optic scope on the pistol. Oh, 
Oh, that's not a good place to drop it. Hang on a second. It's a bit better. <laughs> I'm hearing footsteps near me. I'm getting paranoid. <laughs> Felix bewacht heute die Spitze des Leuchtturms. Hey Garth, how's it going, mate? Hi from Australia, enjoy this game and you're playing commentary about it. Ah, oh, thank you very much for the kind words. Whoever watches my videos, I hope they're also trying to find valuable to everybody. That's the main objective to make sure that you guys uh, enjoy them as well. Oh shit. Better move it. Oh, collectible. We got that from last time. Nice. Um, it's a great game. I'm playing a lot of multiplayer Sniper Elite 5 and uh, Sniper Elite anyone else. Yeah, unfortunately being on Australia, multiplayer games, they don't last long, especially if they're not popular. Um, big names like Call of Duty, Fortnite, they definitely still go on and on and on and on. But over a year, um, yeah, they don't last long. That's why when Sniper Elite 5 first came out, I did play a bit of uh, multiplayer, um, but I was on a PC Game Pass, so not on this uh, version on Steam. And uh, that was okay, but then, you know, multiplayer is fine, but just the pace of it, um, especially being third person, you know, everybody wants to like sit back and trying to snipe and all that. So enjoyable, but for me, it didn't really last too long. Uh, but now the game's pretty much dead in Australia. Um, if I want to play, I need to pl pretty much play it in a different region. I think the closest I can probably get somewhere else is like South Africa, but even there it's also hard to find a game. Um, of course, you know, any other games, sorry, I mean, any other region, especially say like North America and Europe, um, you've got so much population. That's one thing I kind of envy as well, that you have so many people there that games last forever. What is enemy? So like even other games I used to play before, so like Battlefield One, Battlefield Five. Well, I didn't play Battlefield Five, but you know Battlefield One. Uh, even the old Battlefield was like three, Battlefield Two. Um, oh, there's an enemy right there. Um, they, ha you know, if you're in North America or Europe, you can still play them. Like I've seen other streamers play those old games, but yeah, they're dead. Else. No way you can play them. I can play them if we're going to connect to an overseas connection, but of course, there goes the high ping, the latency, whatever, and it's not very enjoyable. So that's one of the downsides of being in a country so far away from everybody else. Like even, you know, the same same boat goes for like New Zealand as well, right? Oh, snap. Perfect timing. Okay. Um... Get rid of the evidence. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Had to go on multiplayer. Lots of real good gamers. I'm not in the league. Yeah, it depends on uh, what games, right? So, like Call of Duty, the latest Call of Duty, I do f decent enough depending on my play style. Um, sorry, taking a drink. But you guys probably know that uh, for me, I'm more of a uh, not slow, not slow, slow pace, but I like to think tactically, position myself in a way that is going to benefit the team. Uh, I can't really do running gun like you see everybody else do nowadays, like 360 no scopes and, and whatever, which technically you can't do on a, no, you can do on a P PC, mouse and keyboard, but on controller is the main thing, right? So, and just my personal gripe, and that's about it, is that with Call of Duty, especially the latest one, it's so powerful playing controller with the aim assist that it's pretty much the way I have to play Call of Duty now is to be a bit more 
tactical slow pace position myself can't really run and gun because you're gonna get smacked with uh, by controllers anyway back to this game um hey andy how's it going mate um hi there what's good Des? hope you're good i left you a comment on your reply but you're welcome for the favorite oh yeah i think i just saw it before I, the streams i started the stream so i didn't have time to reply back to it but I do appreciate the feedback anybody who's left feedback or oh, any time i do a community post very much appreciate it um you know one thing is that of course i could assume of what would um what others would like to see on the channel but if i ask you directly and you provide me feedback that's the best thing um because you know i was thinking oh do i change the game do i do something else but majority of you a good 82 percent of the people that voted um said ah oh, we still like to see sniper elite 5 stuff so hey i'm happy to play the game no worries just of course i'm thinking you know is there anything else that you guys might want to see or is anybody kind of like over sniper elite 5 but I think we all like Sniper Elite, well, most of us like Sniper Elite 5, right? So, okay, so, ooh, we got some enemies down here. So we got two down there, you can just see over the ledge. What range is that, though? Give me a second, I'm just going to double check. 69 meters. We're okay, going to do regular ammunition on a sniper rifle. Uh, that's one way to hide a body. Yeah, I guess it works well. Yeah, there's much good players out there. Need a good portion of practice for getting into it for real rank. Reach rank 50. To, oh, congrats. Nice. Depends on the game. Like, if there's if a game I'm playing and I want to, like, try to get to a high level achievements, great. But uh, sometimes I wouldn't bother. Ooh, okay. Do I try and pick this guy off one by one? Would a boat see him? Would anybody else see him? Let me see who else is around me. Nice. Oh, what? Oh, uh, what? Whew. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I keep thinking to myself, oh, I need to reload, like, to put my bullets into the weapon. And go, oh, there's only one round per, per, per uh, chamber or magazine, or, you know. In the weapon, so um, was that a guy that normally walks over there? Could be okay. Um, uh, I'm great, honestly, man. I've got the Avengers game that was on discount today. Oh, finally, is that the oh, is that any good? The Avengers game, like I know I saw some reviews people a while ago, not really my thing, but it seemed okay. Um, so it's about some PS5 with haptic fever. Oh, yeah. That's one thing we don't really get on PC, of course, you know, all the controller feedback. Okay, just showing my age. Anybody remember back in... Is that an enemy there? That's an enemy there! Oh, wow, nice. Um, I was going to say, does anybody remember back in the day, Nintendo 64, the Rumble Pack? You know, that little accessory you, you stick into the bottom of the Nintendo 64 controller, and it rumbles, and oh, it's pretty much a spinning thing, right, by rumbles. I remember I got that when I was playing. You no, know, I got a third party, third party rumble pack, uh, and I used to play Diddy Kong Racing and Perfect Dark, and that thing used to rumble so much, man. The thing was that with the with the controller and the Nintendo sixty four, like in the same slot, you got either put the rumble pack for the vibration, um, or the memory card or memory cartridge, whatever. So I had to swap the two. But unofficially, there were um, third-party products where combined the memory slot, memory card, and the rumble pack. So it's like, oh, okay. And it had, mine had like a little switch on it to turn tra change between rumble and memory, right? Damn thing broke after a while. But uh, yeah, that's back in the day. It's like Nintendo 64 controller didn't have the rumble, but uh, you had to have an accessory to make it rumble. Uh, so I just catch on my chat. 
Uh, I think some of these players do nothing but play all day as models have <laughs> worked for a living. That's the end of any game, right? You look, I guess, you know, my train of thought is that probably kids have more time to play games because, you know, school and that's about it. But, uh, you know, if you're a parent or you're an adult, you pretty much got work, you got to look after the kids and what other responsibilities. But anybody's different because, you know, I know, well, you've seen, I'm sure everybody knows there'll be some kids out there who are quite busy themselves, helping the family out for whatever reasons. There's also an other vein of things, uh, family, like um, adults who, you know, can't play a lot of t- all the time. The families who play together, so there's a lot of time as well in everything. So that's great. But, uh, yeah, that's time to lead. Like, you know, sometimes I'll be thinking, oh, I'm doing really well in the game. You know, I'm, I'm playing quite a lot. And then you see somebody else like, how much time do you have to play a game? God damn it. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm just talking while I'm playing the game. Um, I mean, I finally got the Avengers game while I was on discount. Yep, yep, right. Uh, we sure do have to earn a crust <laughs> to have a time in the game. Um, to be honest, it looks class. I've been watching different games. Oh, okay, it looks nice. Avengers kind of looks sweet. Yeah, it does. It does. Hey, Raven, how's it going, mate? Thanks for dropping by again. Hope everything's okay in your neck of the woods. I think I didn't make that a catchphrase of mine, isn't it? Sorry, El Roker. Um, I would like to borrow it. I just remember every time he used to say that on the Today Show, it's like pretty much, uh, you know, in America, you're watching it's like, you know, this is a national forecast, blah, 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 blah. And then it'd be like, and here's what's going in your neck of the woods, and bam, it shows your local area. Now, because I'm in Australia, when that time of the weather forecast came up, it just showed a map of Australia. And of course, it had nothing to do with NBC's uh, coverage is just you know our own TV station here put a map of Australia on in the weather so it's like and you're just going on your neck of the woods switch Australia okay so all of Australia is pretty much our neck of the woods it doesn't localize anything but oh well um hmm so we're gonna try and figure out what to do yeah there's a lot of guys on the snipe but uh okay hmm if I can get this guy... Very nice. Um, the rumble pack was made by Harley Davidson. Overbearing most of the time, and you feel very shy of it. Okay. Uh, this is such a good map. Things are good. Man, thanks for asking. Hope well. All is well. Yeah, everything's well on my side. Cheers for asking, mate. Uh, it is summer over here, so I keep saying that. Sorry, Andy. Uh, Stream Elements is being iffy today. It's always being overprotective for some reason. This is something I did mention earlier when um, it was affecting um, Leandro earlier. Sorry about that. Let me just quickly check what happened there. Do apologize. Uh, Message, message. Uh, Yes, it looks great. Okay. I'm thinking because it doesn't like too many repeats of something. Uh, sorry about that, mate. Um, I'll need to fi- fix it later on. So I think if there's too many repeats of, say, like exclamation points or or emotes, it doesn't like it. So I will check it later on the stream. So apologies once again. But uh, yeah, what did you say? Uh, such a great idea, though, Desmond, unless it looks great, to be honest. Yeah, no worries. Um, okay. Also, one question I might well ask you guys here yeah, is pretty much just for my own brain of thought, and I'm sure you guys are kind enough to to uh, let me know. But when you're watching streams, uh, gaming, you know, sometimes you're there just to watch the gameplay, and then sometimes you might be there for having a chat with the streamer. So in my mind, I'm thinking, am I talking too much all the time? Am I not playing the game too much? Like I know there'll be other people or maybe sometimes like if I go to the stream and I just want to go for a gameplay and that's just me, just with me personally, I say, oh, uh, I just want to see gameplay. But then 
If the person is talking about everyday life, that's not too bad. That's fine. If the person is totally ignoring chat, then that's when it gets me a bit where like, you know, you're just playing. You're not really talking to chat. That's one thing. And even worse is I find is that if someone's playing a game, it's a multiplayer game or co-op game, and they're so focused talking to their friends or, their, or whatever, and they at no point try to acknowledge the chat, um, or they just go off on a tangent and talk to their mates as though it's only them in the whole stream. And that I'm thinking, why are you streaming? Why don't you just play the game with your friend because you're not acknowledging chat at all? Um, then I'm, that's just me. But do you feel as though that, you know, what do you like to do? Do you like to see people just play for the gameplay? Do you like to have a discussion now and then while the gameplay is going on? That's just in the back of my mind because I'm sometimes thinking, ah, oh, I like what I'm doing, but am I talking too much? Um, who who do I aim for here? So we got one guy. Damn it, I hate sometimes where you can't see over the ledge. We got this guy here. Was there another guy here? No. There's two guys down there, right? Just above the ledge. Uh, it's your channel. Do what you enjoy. Hey, thanks, Diary Bro. Uh, soon to be three at night. Over years, I had to check in another time. Hey, thanks, Mr. Dixon. Yeah, when I stream, it's uh, always in the morning here, yeah, but uh, if you're going to watch the VOD later on, do appreciate it. Feel free to always check out the videos whenever you can. Um, that's why they put, I put them up there, but do appreciate every, everybody who drops by, says hello, says comments, does whatever. Uh, so, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all those jazz. Ooh, distance, distance, distance. Oh, it's moving. 130 meters. Oh, straight to the heart. Damn. As much as I like to always try to go for the headshot, sometimes at a distance and also with a weapon I'm not too sure about, um, definitely go for the upper body. Bigger, bigger to hit. Uh, oh, oh, dead. Look at them. They're all rushing. They notice someone thinks something's happened. Okay, 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 okay. Ooh, chin! Oh, it's moving. Um, damn it, I can't get a shot from here because of the ledge. Was he just singling all clear? Bye bye dental plan. He did signal all clear, but then this other guy. Oh damn it! I can't get this guy. Damn it! I can't see him. Okay, well, let's go. This guy. Distance. One thirty-seven. Oh. Hey, ghost kills, nice. Um, hey, Randy, how's it going? Sorry, mate, I didn't see. Well, I'm too busy focusing. That's one thing as well. That's what I'm thinking. Like, if I'm playing like a game, I've got to focus on the too much, like multiplayer games. I can't really chat with you guys, which kind of like, you know, defeats the purpose. Uh, I like having a chat with you guys, even though it's pretty much me just talking nonstop. You guys always provide feedback and discussions that I like. Hey, this is great to talk about. So I do appreciate everybody who does that. But yeah, how's it going, Randy? Hope everything's okay in your neck of the woods. Um, YouTube high five, bright idea, and green face laughing in the comments. Yeah, I saw the I saw the um, the emotes there because even if I even if stream elements times you out, I have the option to click on see what the message is. I think it's just going to be overprotective. Like sometimes you know, some random might join the stream and say something like profanity or something a bit uh you know not not nice so that's why stream elements is there for a reason uh but also for, to stop against bots who might spam with like emotes or or, or exclamation marks and all that so that's probably fine uh andy thanks for letting me know what you put 
if you want to check Zetrin as Kudi own preference of Plethora, uh, Night Night Mystics, you know, it's nice shot. Hey, thanks, Starbad. I watched the stream for the gameplay and the social side of chat. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate your thoughts and your messages. That's one thing I like about this, you know, with the community aspect is that we get to talk and discuss a few things, what's on the mind. Oh, man, look at that. I can't get the angle. Eh. Do I have to go downstairs to kill this guy? It looks like it. Um, I can't even get an angle in here. Is that, there's a window on one side, isn't there? You're telling me there's no window <laughs> at all? Oh my god. Uh, okay. I might need to wait for that guy to move somewhere before I can take him out. Let's go back upstairs. So there's the guy that we threw on the ground. I threw out the threw from the top there. How the hell did he land? Okay, he's a uh, right foot here, left foot there, next to his head. Okay, is it me, or is the f body physics in this a bit like ragdoll physics in this a bit off? But I've never seen you know. I've never thrown a body down a down ladder, so I wouldn't know how it's gonna land up, right? So, um, you can climb down the backside of the roof to the building. Oh yeah, cool. Ah, uh, no, 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 um, no rush. Ooh, here we go. One forty-six. Can I go prone? Oh, I can. Now I'm not using um, match ammunition at the moment. I'm just using normal regular ones. How many rounds have I got left? Twenty-five regular. Okay. Twenty-seven regular. Okay. About there, I think. Oh, through the face, and then took out his hand. Was that an enemy there? Oh, it is too. Did not notice that before. 105. His helmet flew through the, the netting. That's not right. Okay. See, this is what I'm thinking as well in terms of uh, game gameplay or physics or, or programming. The netting is not a physical entity, it's there for visual. So it makes sense because if the netting was fully physical, you shoot a bullet through the netting and might stop it. So I guess I can understand why that's the case. So that's why the helmet flew through the netting because it's not a physical entity, it's just visual. Um, the L brothers, hey, how's it going, mate? So once again, hi to everybody who's dropped by. Um, if you ever said, if you ever watch my videos or like, comment them, even subscribe, I would appreciate it. I also just let you know, I've always said this every single stream, but with YouTube, um, if you do subscribe, stream elements won't, the alert won't show. If you have your subscription set to private, that's perfectly fine. I myself have my subscription set to private. So if you do subscribe and you're wondering, hey, where's the alert, blah, 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 what's going on? It's just because it doesn't pop up on uh, stream elements. So, you know. Things that what I've seen is that you get subscribers throughout the stream or throughout the day, and then if I go to stream elements, it won't show the subscribers who are set to who, the people who set the subscribe, subscribe, subscriptions to private. Blah, 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 if we can talk, yeah, it's just something that stream elements can't overdo because it's a YouTube setting. So, do appreciate everybody who's ever subscribed to the channel, liked, commented. Anytime you guys watch a channel, watch my videos, even for a second, it does mean a lot to me because you take the time to click on the button or just to let the video play. But uh, yeah, and hopefully it's all valuable and entertaining to you guys. That's what I try to aim for if possible. I guess for me, it's more valuable in terms of giving you hints and, tip, tip, hints and tips of what I've done to try to complete certain aspects of the game. If they helped you in any way, that's great. I always realize that some enemies from afar, especially two guys standing next to each other, it won't trigger them to start talking or walking unless you look at them through the binoculars. So all this time, these guys are just standing there waiting for me to look at them. Then they start walking. 
It's a bit iffy, but you know, that's part of the game, isn't it? Oh, there were some guys over here, wasn't there? Oh, there's one guy there. 135. Can I go prone again? Can I see him from here? Oh, he's moving, I think. Oh, he's moving! Mm, moving target's a bit harder, especially with a regular ammunition. Ooh. This could be problematic. I lost this guy. Okay, hang on a second. Where's this other guy? I lost him too! Did he go back in the building? Um, aim for upper body. Nice. Oh, enemy behind him. Would have seen the shot. He might have seen the shot. So, as I said, as much as I want to always get headshots in every single case. Oh no, this guy's still there. Um, it's not always possible because of... How did he not see his friend get blown up by bullet? Huh? I thought I saw something there. Um, the long shot vids are super useful. There's much appreciated. Hey, you're welcome, Raven. That's why I made him. You know, I've. That, like, in all honesty, so many people also do... There's an enemy in there. Okay. So many people also do long shot videos. It's great because sometimes I get inspiration from them. Like, I know in all honesty, I got stuck sometimes. And how do you get a shot? And then I see them and say, oh, that's how you do it. So it's fine. And of course, uh, what was it? Uh, Brendan was the one that showed me how to do the long shot um, in my latest video on in uh, Conqueror. Um, the alternate long shot. Like, there was no way I was going to figure out that myself because I'm thinking, one, I wouldn't think of shooting from there because it's not a high platform like, like the tower. And there's no way I would have thought of shooting the guy all the way to the other side of the map where the tank is. So thanks, Brendan, for that information. But uh, yeah, get inspiration from YouTube. And I've seen other people's long shot videos, which is great. And they do help me a lot out when I'm stuck on things. But I thought, you know what? i like to expand on it in terms of, okay, if I was starting a mission, or where do I go? How do I get there? What do I do? What do I encounter along the way? Sometimes you can't really do that all the time. Like when I did the Spy Academy long shot, I couldn't show you guys from the very beginning. It's like, oh, I start from below the bridge, cross all the way, take out all the guys, climb up all the way to the very top of the uh, abbey, grab the sniper rifle, come back all the way down and shoot from the point. And then if I miss, it's like, oh, I got to do it all over again. So if it's a really long or complicated one, I'll cut it down to like, okay, this is what I've done to get here. This is how I got the weapon or what I'm using. This is what I've done before. So like in my Smart Spy Academy long shot, it's like, okay, I've killed all the enemies from the Abbey to this point. I went back to the Abbey, grabbed a sniper rifle, came back down, went to this particular location and aiming here and there. So at least gives you guys an idea of what exactly is required to complete it. Besides the standard, stand here, look over there and shoot. But then, you know, sometimes I watch them going, oh, what did you shoot with? Or how did you get there? Or, you know, what what, what is the train of thought behind that? So if I, if I expand it a bit more, and at least you guys understand what I'm thinking or what I'm doing, and then it helps out, right? So, um, so I just catch up on chat. The death procession and the noise of the weapon is not great on any of these games because I mean, someone over 20 meters away, years, I heard a shot at like 60 or 20, meters. Yeah, that's the thing. Your long shot was much easier. Yeah, thanks, Brendan. When you when you mentioned that, I was like, mine was easy. I couldn't even see properly. When when I did a long shot in in the fog and the rain, in all honesty, if you were watching me do it in real time, I was like, I was like distant screen. I was trying to think. I can see the grey outline of the body. I'm trying to line up the shot with the indicators and hope for the best. But yeah, that's just me. That's my eyes, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Anybody else here? I thought I saw... Okay, I know there's somebody, like, behind here, but I can't see, of course. But then there's somebody inside here. Do they walk out? 
Ooh, someone's there. 146. Okay, and what's what's the what's the distance of this bike? 88. Okay, so I think they're just out of range for you and me to take the shot. That's great. That's good. So this guy was 146. Did he have any enemy or in, not enemy? Did he have any other player with him? Uh L Brothers, thanks for the sub. Much appreciated. There we go. So we know subscriptions are working. So as I said, if you got subscribe subscriptions set to private, it may not pop up. That's just the way YouTube is. But I do appreciate all the subscriptions. Can I go for the head? Let's go for the head. Oh. Yeah, and look at the body just totally tumble. Um, damn, yeah, you're right, Starry Bad. This one definitely has power to it. Okay. What I think I need to do is take out the guy on the motorbike. Or the two guys on the motorbike. Only problem is trying to figure out where's the best play. Best play would probably be like when they're around here. So what did I say? That was like 88 meters, wasn't it? Okay. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Oh! There goes his jaw. Quickly. Ooh. Oh, we unlock the attachment for the carbine or for the sniper rifle. Can you imagine that? You're on a motorbike or in a sidecar of a motorbike and then something happens to the the driver. Oh, I can just see this guy now. Excuse me. Uh, unintentional German gymnastic trials. <laughs> nice one, mate. Uh, I don't know if I ever said about any zombie games. I don't know if you'd like any of them. And how about trying the days gone from that? So maybe for Zombie Army 4 Dead. Um, I never really got into zombie games. Like, I think the first zombie game I really got into was, I guess, Call of Duty World at War. Once you complete the campaign, it gives you the zombie mode. So play that a bit. Well, quite a bit from friends back in the day. But... One thing I don't really like about those type of zombie games was that it was never ending. Like, I prefer it as to be an ending, like an objective to complete. And I know later on in Call of Duty's history, they did have some endings to do, but they're insane. I just, I didn't really like that whole idea, like non-stop hordes coming at you. So, I didn't really play them. Um, I did, I do have, I think, was it the first zombie, the, snipe, the Sniper Elite zombie army one they did? I did play that. Was that based on... Sniper Elite 2 or 3, I can't remember. You guys can probably tell me, but I did play that for a bit with a friend. But then that was like a standalone game as well. And I played that, really didn't get into it. So zombie games are fine, just depends on how they are. But majority of them I find is if they're endless hordes or there's no ending to it, uh, then I'm not really into it because I like to have like a maybe a story and ending and a way to finish it. But if it's just non-stop on and on and on, I'm like, what's the point? It's just, you know, there's, there's no way to finish it. Zombie Army 4 is fun, is it cool? Um, what's your loader for this? That doesn't look like the 1903 Spring. Yeah, no, it's not. It's the Win and Co. 1885. Um, so one of the newer weapons that came out in a DLC, I believe. You guys can tell me again. I think it did, but I think it came out in one of the other ones. Because I only just recently bought the Season Pass. So that's where I got the rifle from. And this is a one bullet in the chamber. Um, it's powerful. Um... The scope is only six times maximum on authentic div on authentic zoom, so that's why I can't zoom as far as compared to my 1903 that I prefer. Um, but it's powerful. As Starry Bear mentioned, you know German gymnastics are going through the roof now whenever you shoot somebody. So 
Uh, yep, these guys are just lining up to be trialists for the June Olympics. <laughs> and no worries, Erin. Dear 4 does have a campaign, to be honest. And yes, it definitely started very well. To be honest, the days have gone a little bit longer. Kids, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I think I saw when when Days Gone was first announced, I saw some gameplay. It looked interesting, but with all the zombie games coming out, like um, oh, all the other games that came out so much, like the, all the survivor type games, there's so many of them, I can't name them. That you know, Left what, Left 4 Dead. Was it Left 4 Dead? Yeah, Left 4 Dead. Um, the, La the Last of Us is a zombie game. I've never played the game, but I probably will watch the TV series that comes out later tonight, American time or tomorrow, Australian time. Um, there's so many zombie type games, which is like, to be honest, I was kind of like sick of sick to death of hearing about it. But if they're done well, it's fine. But it's just not really my sort of cup of tea. Ooh, that's an enemy there. Oh, you're going inside? No. Mm. Damn it. Um... So there's no one else here besides these guys, right? Oh, there's a guy there. But if I shoot him, of course his friend's gonna go haywire. Wasn't well, there two guys here? Yeah, there are two guys here, which they now walked off, so I won't touch them. Hmm. So hang on. I know that there's one AA here. Was that that was was it one AA or two AA that was to take out? Based on the map, I can you know let me get rid of that. There's one there. Was there only one located? I could be wrong. Doesn't matter. We'll find out later. Ah, oh, damn it! I want to take out this guy that was here. Is that him in the building? Ah. Oh. Mm, oh man, as much as I want to try and shoot through the window, yeah, it might not be the best bet. So I mean, I mean, not so much relying on sniping, just different angle. Oh, okay. So I mean, I'm serious as missions, so it's not ever ending unless you do hard mode. Oh, okay, true, true, true. Man, I can hear like the wind since we're standing up in the tower here. But uh, where's the enemy? I don't have X-ray vision, do I? Nope. One of the one of the perks of being a sniper, you gotta wait for a long time. Uh, but then everyone's too. Honestly, well, maybe try putting it like four set uh, on community posts. See if people. Yeah, no, that's okay. I understand. But you know, I don't want to stray too far away from like you know sniping or a good first person, or third person. Like off stream, I'm playing Horizon Zero Dawn because. I've always wanted to play that since it came onto PC, but I only got it recently because of the Steam sales. So I'm like, hey, I'm actually enjoying it, but of course that's totally different. It's not like a shooting game. It's more like a action event, action RPG in a way, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and of course you're not sniping or shooting from far. It's more close combat. So it's a different take on the game. Oh, hello, friend. Will you stay still for me, please? Yes, he will. Uh, 141, okay. Go for the upper body. I didn't take his hand out at the same time, did I? Yeah. Play getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Is that the one way you gotta try to climb all the way to the top? Oh man, I've seen people stream that or even YouTube videos of that. And I think I'd go nuts. I'd be like, I'm at the top. Oh, oh, oh. All the way down I go. Okay, so what did I say to start a stream? I need to find a workbench, which is over there, right? But we've got to take people out, so. Ooh, enemy, 350. Okay, this is going to be tough. We're going to have to change the match ammunition. So there's a sniper there, right? Sniper. Mm, ooh, okay. I've got a bullet with his name on it. 388, so 400 meters. Downside for the scope is that it doesn't do 400. It goes to 300 or 500. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna be tough. Um, Sniper. I've got a bullet with his name on it. Damn it. Hmm. Maybe we're gonna try practice on somebody else first. This guy's stationary. What's this guy's distance? 
330. Okay. Actually, this guy's more better, I think, at the moment. Three twelve. Oh, I saw a sniper scope. Three twelve. Three twelve. Okay, that's a good height. That's a good distance, I think. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna bet your PC by throwing out the window by pure frustration. Yeah. Ah, uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes you do get that feeling, right? I'm quite intrigued by the titles and the content of some of these games. <laughs> so what? Three fifty. Okay. Three thirty. Yeah. Oh, damn sniper! We'll get him after it. Oh, hey, that. Like, I want to rely on the distance, but then sometimes when you go, like, hey, you've done too many spotting. Okay. 330 for this guy. Oh, he's moving. Are you looking at me or are you just. No, you're not. So this guy was 380, wasn't he? Oh, come on. I'll take it. Not a headshot, but. To the upper body, and that's good. Tango down. Uh, damn, you're hiding behind the bushes. Nice shot. Hey, cheers, mate. Uh, you classed long shot yet, as I think that could be the place for long shot from the main starting point of this map. That's, um... I done a long shot in another video, but not on this gameplay. But uh, for me, um, spoiler alert! If you haven't seen the video yet, nope, oh, damn it. Um, I was over here and I had to shoot the guy that I just killed over there for the long shot. But no worries. Cheers for the mention. But yeah, working out a long shot was pretty sweet for this this mission. It's actually pretty cool. 3.30, right? German gymnastics? Uh, no, more likely it has to be the head. Because the head will act like a swivel, right? And then dunk. Okay, so who else is a potential target? This guy. 380, 378, hmm. Now, how many bullets I got left with match? 22, okay, that's cool. Oh, that guy's gonna be hard to get. Can't, hardly, can't really see him. And then you got a friend walking nearby, too. So, when this guy walks over here, yeah. what's the distance? 370, was it 370, 380? 380, okay. Nope, no 400, so I gotta get for 300. Oh, that's gonna be tight. No, I won't shoot yet, because his friend's pretty much looking at him. Once his friend turns around. There we go. 300 there, the thing's about there, I think. Oh, snap! Missed. Okay, he's repositioning, he's repositioning. And yeah, don't breathe in yet, Daz, you're gonna waste a sh shot. Okay, his friend's none the wiser as well, so that's good, we can probably wait for a bit. Where did he go? Oh, right there. So he's cautious at the moment. I don't want to really kill him there because then his friend will come back and see the body, right? Yeah. So is he... Did he just give up? He, he gave up. He's not investigating anymore. Okay. Let's try again. Let's go for upper body instead of head this time. 
Oh, too much to the left. Where did he go? I can just see the head again. Damn it. Oh. Oh, he's running off. Uh oh, here we go. There's people, there's noise. I think they're alert to something now. Oh, did he see a body? Oh, okay, interesting. He's looking for his friend. Ooh, in the arm. Not a clean shot, but we'll take it. Oh, sorry, not a clean kill, but we'll take it. This guy, is he cautious? He's cautious, okay. Come on, that's about the distance, right? Okay, so... A bit lower than I would like it to be, but it's still a kill. This guy's back. He's very cautious now. Two shots been whizzing by his body. Okay, try that. That's better! Through the arm, through the body. Hey, Robbie, how's it going, mate? How are things going in your neck of the woods? <laughs> Sorry, I keep using that too much, but that's just the way things are. Oh, this guy. 313. Wasn't there another guy there? I don't know what I was looking at. Can't really see him, he must be leaning over. Oh, he's found a dead friend. Okay, let's do this guy first if we can. Ooh. Oh, that's gonna be... Don't know where exactly to aim because of the light. Ah, snap. Oops. Did I kill him? Oh, I did. The electrical explosion killed him. Just like in the very first mission when you're shooting from the submarine, right? Yeah. Nice. So where's this guy? Oh, oh, there he is. 382. Oh, about the same distance as the sniper, isn't he? Okay. So waiting for this guy to go stationary. Damn, man. As much as I love authentic difficulty, sometimes it's a bit hard to see where enemies are. You know, other difficulties you got like the the assistance, um, the line, the 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 outline, and all those things. But yeah, authentic difficulty. Every time I go back to the lower difficulty, I just find it very strange. Oh, he's behind the box. If I had armor piercing rounds, I could go through the box, right? Yeah. Just scoping out, seeing there's anybody else here to knock out. I know there's two guys here, but. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's a boat. I thought there's a massive torchlight. Um, use the top of where you are, man, and take out the searchlight. Oh, the other ones too. Oh, okay. Well, we kind of took out the searchlight already, so that's fine. This guy ever gonna stop moving? Oh, that's a tough shot. He's moving again, isn't he? God damn it. <laughs> okay. Um, just checking there's any other enemies that rocked up here. Probably not. Nope. That's a brick. <coughs> Excuse me. Where did he go? I lost him. Did he go behind here again? Oh, there he is. 372. 
Got him in the tush. Is that everybody? I said besides these two. Did these two ever get lined up in a shot? Don't think they do. Hang on. So how many bullets I got left? Okay, 13 match ammunition. Two f Oh, hang on. Come on, please be double kill. No, it's in the foot. Oh. Did his friend see that? He must have. He did too. Well, it was a risky shot, but uh, I guess it was worth taking it out. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, can I get ammunition? Yes, I can. Thank you. So we've done a lot of sniping so far. Um, thank you, ammunition. Thank you, ammunition. So, kind of forgotten that we've got a mission to complete. <laughs> Sorry, guys, just... And sniping the hell out of things. So there's the AA over there. I remember that from last time. There's the lighthouse. I need to shut that off once the guns are taken care of. Shouldn't you have said that um, before you got there? Oh, yeah, vehicle. Oh no, that's a motorbike that I destroyed. Oh, the drivers I took out. For a second, I think, ah, oh, that's a motorbike coming. Ooh, I'm a piercing. Um, we'll leave I'm a piercing for now. I'm not gonna bother that. So I pretty much killed a lot of guys here, but you gotta be careful, right? Oh, what's this? Crowbar? Bolt cutters! Ooh, MG42. Oh, I could climb up here. Yeah, I did not know that from before. Okay. I know that for next time. Now, would they be helpful enough to actually put Satchel Charge here for me to use? But no. A, a gun up ahead. Nope. Oh, so there's two to destroy. Where the hell is that? Is it inside? Or on top? I guess we'll find out. Uh, what you got? Ooh, enemies down here, right? Nothing else to find. Okay, we'll let that place be for now. Not too fussed about them. Um, hmm. Found the entrance. Looks heavily guarded. There might be another way inside. Inventory there, okay. Oh, there's another guy to the right. Why can't I lean up against this thing? We are enjoying the German gymnastics elimination exercise. <laughs> I 
Now, is there a satchel charge up here? Nope, just a body. Silence career. Hmm, not good. Hey, wasn't there two guys earlier? Damn Paul. Aha! 73 and something something. Damn it! You're like behind cover. You're not helping me out, boys, boys, girls, whatever. Okay, who's the first one to move? And German gymnastics are uh, continuing once again. <laughs> Advil isn't going to cure that German headache. Fair enough. See, while I'm here, anybody else here that I can see? In the tower? Oh, one guy all the way there. Hmm. Okay, let me just deal with this. Let me find Satchel Charge first. That's what we came here for, right? Yeah. Hello in here, anything good for me to pick up? Nope. How about yeah? Um So I just saw somebody. No, oh, can't go around the back. Anything in the toilets? Nope. Anything in here? Uh, full bottles. Really? No such a charge. What about up here? Nope. Um... Roba, Telamine. Hey man, I didn't leave on purpose. I am back. Just pick up a little, a uh, little bad with the weather. There's also if you have my comment, but Oh no, that's okay, man. If you, if anybody needs to leave, you don't need to apologize. I understand you got like other things to, now. to do or for me to focus on. So don't feel bad if you need to head off or something pops up. You need to do anything. If you're here, you're here. That's great. If you spend five minutes here, that's fine. Oh, is that a satchel charge here? You know what? 
I don't really want to do this part yet. We'll go to the uh, fort, investigate what's over there. And then I guess we'll come back. Okay, so you climb up there, or you get up there, you can come down here. Very nice. Satchel charge? Satchel charge? Nope. Um. I like how it gives you the option to drop down. Sure, let me drop down from uh, such a great height. Actually, let's check the bunker. Let's check the buildings over here. They might have a satchel charge. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm sneaking. I would have assumed that everybody would have ran outside after me taking out the pot shots. Hmm. Oh yeah, scuttle code. code. If I can find the other half of it, I could get the Nazis to scuttle their guns for me. Decoy, which I never use. Uh, what about the weapons work mention? It depends on what you have in extra loadout parts. But yes, I get that's fine. I just didn't know you ran my bullets. Eh, yeah, no, it's okay, mate. Bye bye, boat. That's all. I'll go quiet for this guy if I can. I'll give that a eight point seven. <laughs> Searchlights. Better stick to the shadows. Yes, thank you for telling me about searchlights, even though I shut it out already. Oh shit! Okay, time to go. What? Did not see him. Wow. So out of all the commotion I did, this guy was too year, didn't know anything. Great. Well, that leads me to be more cautious next time. God damn it. Um, so let that be a reminder. Don't run around with a sniper rifle if you don't know what's up ahead. So we can climb up here, yeah, right? Nice.
Okay, so we know at least there's one guy at the back of the place. Looks like there's a way in through those planks. Let's check this area. What are your footsteps? Oh, your voices. Oh, there's something. What the hell are you talking? Holy crap, there's three guys in there. Oh, this guy didn't know There's shit. A radio tower. If I can deal with that, the island's communications go with it. So you're telling me that's explosion and you didn't hear anything? Great. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, all hell is broken loose now. Better deal with the radio operator before he goes telling tales. No one's going to be answering that radio. Oh, that from over there. Fine, let's have some fun. Oh, where you go? Where you go? What the? You see Carl's face? Ugh. Correction, the there were three guys in there. <laughs> True, fair enough. Oh, I don't want a submachine gun. Short control bursts. Med kit. Okay. Um. That's both half hey, half scuttle half. codes. Nice. Just need to call in the scuttle order. And you call in the order from. No, not yeah. Um. Ooh, what was that? Oh, you booby trapped this for him to blow to die from that. Ooh, interesting. Did not realize that. Oh, hang on. We grabbed this before, didn't we? Anti-aircraft guns. I should take them out. Oh, so they tell me where they are now. Oh, that's pretty sweet. We since we took out so many guys the radio tower from the uh, from far away. He did the trick. That doesn't do it.
Will this work? No. Oh well. <laughs> Snipe there, man. Yeah, tight, kid. Unless I'm not aiming properly. I don't think I can. I need to, I need to aim properly. That's a problem, so. Actually, can we climb this from the outside? Um, I'm just curious, that's all. And Is there a way to go down? No, you can go down. Okay, give me a second. I just want to test things out. Oh, hello, boat. Um... Hang on, if I were to climb here, there's no way to climb up there, is there? No. Oh, hang on a second. Can you climb from the inside to go outside? Hey, Snipe, how's it going? Ah, uh, so I don't think there's a way to climb up, is there? I was curious, that's all. What? Wow, that really... That's really not strong if it... <laughs> Was that flimsy? Yeah, I think that one just stays there. Okay, fair enough. Okay. So there should be a workbench in the fort, isn't there? Bzz, 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 bzz. Just to make sure they're not going to get it working again. Finally some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh. Ah, okay. So that's from the underneath that tower. Cut power. Oh, you little climby climby. All three can be taken out, to be honest, man, but oh yes, there is one where you can just hit the radio, yeah. Hmm. Hang on, what's that? Oh, for a second I thought maybe we can interact with that. So is, is there a workbench here at all or not? Or maybe on the other side where I haven't gotten in yet. I'm a bit too impatient. Whee! Yeah, so I got through here, didn't I? Yeah. Ah, okay. Is this it? Just curious to see whether you can get into a different way. Ah. Okay, so that's definitely it. And that's how you can get out. Okay. What? I can't climb through there? <laughs> really? That's a bit weird. I would think I should be able to climb through there. <laughs> okay. That's probably my thinking, but it's like, that's a bit of a bad design. You think you should be able to climb through that window, right?
What? Ah, okay, so that's why I got things a different day. Just learning this part of the map because I haven't actually been here before. Can bodies be still be thrust through windows on the tender? Yeah. Hey, satchel charges. Satchel charges. Reckon I'm gonna need these. Okay, great. Uh ooh, is this what I was missing from last time? That's not Intel, that's bloody bullets. You lie. Uh ooh, that's what I'm missing. No, I must have got that before. Workbench. So what do we get? Uh military fort bench, learning force. Mm. Well, that's that. Oh, what do we unlock? I unlocked something I a new barrel. Ah, so it can do short ones, but hmm. Oh yeah, remember I gotta do different kills. I gotta get 80 kills when I'm prone. Uh yeah, this is probably not the map for that though. And what else do I need to unlock? So kills while prone. Oh yeah, this is the one that stuffed up last time. Hey Taz, how's it going, mate? I'm doing well, and you? Um I remember <laughs> I remember if anybody remembers I stuffed this up, but I thought score 40 winning co 1885 kills under 15 minutes. I thought it says 15 minutes because for me M is always minutes, right? I guess I'm used to other stuff as 15 15 meters, so it can be up close and personal. But I think 15 minutes, what? So I gotta so we spent all that time in the second mission just killing people as quickly as you can and of course why is it not working what's going on there and then later on uh, sorry who can't remember someone told me that oh it's actually meters not minutes i'm like what ah oh. oh well it would have been fun to do it under 15 minutes so 40 kills 15 minutes that's like what uh how many kills a minute two just under three just under three kills a minute would be awesome if you if they asked you to do that anyway what's next um over 200 meters get kills. Oh yeah, so this would be a good map to mess about with, maybe, certain places. Uh, maybe in... Ooh! I got something to try out. While in iron sights. Oh yeah, we did that in the other map, so not too fast about all those. Um, so what, what do we unlock if we did magazines? You can either get... Um, faster reload speed very loud but of course you got suppressor but doesn't help too much and then increases damage but slower rate of fire wow hmm interesting okay um yep so give me a second what was it that i'm missing one thing i'm missing is there yeah, the first um personal letter so I haven't gone around the whole map and looked at people of every part of the map. And at this stage, I'm not too fussed about it, though. Hang on. Let's make use of that window since we're here. da dee da dee da Oh, what? I can't get through because of this bar? So you're telling me that I can't jump through because of this. Okay, let's, let's dismantle it, okay, guys? Ugh. Ugh. There's nothing there. What's going on? Oh, okay. Now I can jump through. <laughs> that's, okay, I'm sorry. But that's a bit, uh, yeah. Oh, what was this part? Oh, just uh, nothing important. Place to sneak and hide. I don't know when anyone's actually try to do full stealth in this in this part of the map because why would you? Uh compared to SC4C5 is ton of bugging hunted. Yeah. I guess over time they might fix things or something, but <coughs> you can hear the little sizzle. Someone's having a barbecue. Spy Academy for distant challenge. Yeah, definitely for sure, Raven.
No, I can't see that sniper there because he's on the lower level. Understand. Fair enough. Huh? That's a U boat. If I could reach the controls to that crane, I could swing those shells back over the U boat. So, is this one you gotta swing over, is it? Okay. You know, I haven't actually done this part of the mission properly. I've always just shot the bloody tank next to it to blow it up. More satchel charges. Should prove useful. So now the satchel charges everywhere. Ooh, distance. 347. Hmm. Three forty five. Oh, he's moving. He's moving. Ah. Anybody else up here? Four hundred meters. You know what? Why not? Ah, oh, okay. Reason why not because he keeps moving. Distance two or five. Okay, that covers a two hundred meters run, wasn't it? Fall in the water, please. Can't see. It'd be like um, Hitman, isn't it? You shoot people and you try to hide the body at the same time, right? Two seventy-eight. What? Ah, oh. okay, we're gonna get some trouble now. He's running off, don't know where he's running off to, but. Holy crap, I'm really doing bad stuff now. I'm not taking my time. Okay, I'm really having bad luck, am I? Low on ammo. What the hell? Am I hitting? There, there. Hmm. Sun is not right. So this guy's at caution, isn't he? Okay, he's searching. Fair enough. Four hundred meters again, isn't it? There he moves. Uh, gonna go in a few minutes. All right, you're welcome. If I help, advice is help you dropping me by. Two. Oh, and also for me dropping by too. Hey, no worries, Andy. Thanks for dropping by, mate. Much appreciate it. Much appreciate everybody who's dropping by or saying hello for a bit or you know just passing through. It does mean a lot. Thank you, thank you very much. Really, that's better. Yeah, really aggressive the alarm on that side, are they? Okay. Well, I had no alarm yet, so... How many bullets have got left? Three. Ooh, okay. Okay, let's try this. Good 400 meters, which I don't have the proper scope for. So it's around here, it's around there...
Oh, in the heart. Yeah, that's actually pretty lucky. We shot the guy there, but behind this barrier, this dummy doesn't see him, and this guy won't see him either. Nice. Yeah, I know the other workbenches over here. We already got that from before. Okay, three forty-six. Okay, I think we'll uh, leave that for now. Oops. Yes, I meant to do that. Actually, um... Can we swap over? Subsonic for armor piercing. Oh, this is... Oh, that's pistol. I thought that was uh, rifle bullets, rifle rounds. No, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have to rewatch this. I have had uh, I have had to come and go... No, that's okay, man. You do whatever you need to do. I do appreciate those who actually watch the VOD later on. Because, uh, you know, it's not the same as watching a live stream. But, you know, you, you, if you need to watch it or you want to watch it, do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Guess I grabbed everything useful. Oh, this guy. What's this guy doing? He's got his hand up. Okay, once again. So hang on. I gotta take out the AA thing. I gotta take this out. Oh, maybe I do that last. Let's see how we go. Man, you can spend so much time just messing about in these games. It's great. He's pointing to the treasure. <laughs> Okay, so you know that this side of the map is pretty much done. Damn it, can't see him. There's an enemy right there, but oh well. Actually, I was wondering. Um, Because I know on this side of the map, you can climb up to get to the battery. Can you climb up from outside, like on the ground there? I don't think so. You got to go in into this mountain all the way to the other side and then climb up, right? Oh, hello, person. Oh, another person. Oh, snap.
Hmm. Is that something to shoot? Oh no, that's a truck is something to shoot. Oh, I don't want to click on there. Oh, and a backflip. Don't. <laughs> Only now I'm thinking, oh, I should have gotten prone. Elevator looks like it's after the count. Could work to my advantage. <laughs> Can't stay here. They'll find me. Oh shit! Uh. <laughs> We're just piss fighting around now. Hey, Sasha Charge. I can think of a good use for these. Are your footsteps? Uh, can booby trap this dude? Yes, we can. I think next time I play, I'm going to spell a message to the invading Jaeger if soldiers are taken out. <laughs> Have anybody seen the movie by Quentin Tarantino, Inglorious Bastards? Isn't there a scene where, like, in that movie, there's, like, a German sniper shooting all the soldiers, and then the way that the soldiers actually fall down and land, or position themselves... Uh, makes the Nazi symbol. I think if I remember correctly, that's the case. It's just one of those things they made for fun in the movie, right? So. <laughs> you must make eyes to Who's laughing? Was someone laughing? This this make, makes himself sound like a mini boss. Wah, you won't boss me. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, fine, be like that. Oh, shit. Take cover. There's a conversation with those in the game that reference in close bastards. There are, oh, sweet. Oh, you bastard. Oh, we're screwed. Oh, nice. Free weapon. Gonna look through the window there, are you? Nope. Well, stealth has gone out the window now. 
Los, los, los. Six, four, fish, 16 bullets on this one. In what? Ah. What? Where did that gun go? Oh. Uh, nope. I better move. Move? Why? Uh, let's just heal up. No, not booby trap. Uh, that's one thing I hate. Search. That's all. Gotta be the engine room. If I can do enough damage here, the guns will be out of action. So how do I get to the outside fence? Is that a door I can go through or not? Ooh. I've got the code. Now to send the scuttle order and bring this whole place down. <laughs> Just going through places. I guess rather you might investigate, learn the map for next time. Yeah, what he said. Stairs is good. Ah, the AA. Looks like that's the last AA gun. Oops, before I run off, let me just. I was going to investigate over here because I haven't been here before. Oh, so this is how you can get to the battery, is it? Ah, okay, nice. Oh no, it's going away. Oh no, that's where you escape. Oh, okay. Good grief, you're having gunfight with all those powder charges. Like <laughs> I gotta wait for this thing to blow up now. There we go. Oops, grab that. Oh, dead end. Oh, you can zip line down. Ah, okay. So not really a dead end, but. So we got rid of the AA gun. Okay. What did he say? Double da. Oh snap. If you plant a such a charge, you can just shoot it without needing to light it. Yeah, true. I didn't want to um risk it. Quite the impressive operation they've got here. Did 
Look at that, that thing bounced and hit works. over there. Doors. Yeah, not really nice when you do that to me, aren't you? Nice work. Live shots have been taken straight to the gun. So what do you mean? You sabotage the shells? Oh, hang on a second. This is nuts. Generator, yep. Live shells. Live shells. Shuttle code. So you can't actually come up here and destroy it yourself, can you? No. Oops, wrong button. How many bullets? 20. Uh, change over to armor piercing. Change back to regular. Ah! Okay. One shell rig. Now for the other one. That should do the trick. They fire the guns, they're toast. Just gotta keep out of trouble until then. So you mean if I leave the area, we'll go automatically, will it? Hmm, okay. Uh, ooh. Ooh, hello. Um... Yeah, take that sniper. More gymnastics. This is an interesting way to approach this side of the map though. What the? 9.2 12. <laughs> oh, that's a little nice spin move there. Oh. Dope, can't get the angle. Ooh. There's a spotlight below me, so distance one hundred meters, cool. Oh, that's a nice twelve there. Oh shit! Look how long that takes to reload. Straight through the top to the bottom. Eee.
So there should be another enemy below me, right? Yeah, there is on the shirt slide, I believe. Um, I guess we're right here. Distance. Sorry, just being a bit paranoid. Uh, what's the distance of this dude? 140. What the hell? Wow, look at that twirl. Okay, can we get anybody else from this distance, this angle? Oh. What's that? Oh, okay. Ah, let that be for now. We'll just go down. <laughs> I'm still nearby. I thought I would have died from that explosion, wouldn't I? Oh, who's shooting? Both guns destroyed, and the radio tower out of action. Time to signal our boys to begin the landing. So we climb down here, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Spider Man, Spider Man does whatever a spider can. Spider Pig, Spider Pig. Does whatever a spider pig does. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't. He's a pig. Look out. Here comes a spider pig. Don't look down. It looked up and apparently in the spike. I looked it up and apparently in the spike enemy there is a conversation about ordering three drinks the wrong way. Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, that's the the training part of the spike enemy mission. So, yeah, they are in the spy training area. Uh, wasn't an enemy directly below me? I think there was. It's pretty sweet learning out the map through different ways. So there's a guy in a searchlight below me, right? Yeah, right there. Hey, that's kind of weird. The searchlight is sh shining up here, but there's no light actually coming out of it. Hmm, different. The cliff looks bigger in the pictures. <laughs> cliff looks big in the pictures. Searchlights. Better stick to the shadows. Oh, so how do we get yeah? Well, that searchlight person's gone. Oh. So hang on a second. So if we were yeah, we can always zip line down there. Fair enough. But then how do we get yeah to begin with? And where was that body I saw? Uh, not body, person, no, there he is. Nice. Hmm, okay, that looks like a bit of a uh, trouble way. Bottles full, yep. Yeah, so the the guys that are doing the three the conversation but they're ordering three because in German to hold three your hands like this, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. 
So if I were to come through here next time, yeah, I was giving praise for the map design in this. This is pretty sweet because, damn man, you can just get to so many places different ways, unless it's like a linear path. That tunnel should open up below the gun battery. Where the hell is this? Ah, oh, that's where the two guys were talking beforehand. Okay. Interesting. Ah, so that's probably a better way to get to the gun battery than going through the middle. Fair enough. Nice. How many bullets? Nine bullets, okay. It's time to move. You kidding me? Ooh. It's like, how many shots do I need to do with this pistol to take him out? Is there a way to get? Oh, there is a hole. Ah, oh, damn it! Should have done that earlier. Yeah, footsteps. In the bum. In the heart. So that guy is shot. He'll be injured now, right? Oh, thought that's a body. Oh no, I thought that was an enemy, I mean, sorry. Ooh, where's the other person? I shot in the bum, so unless he's like limping away. Was there another person here as well? A supply cache. I'll take a minute to load up and move on. Oh. <laughs> Can I be heal again? Yep. One more time? Yep. One more time? Nope, oh, that's it. We're done. Cool. What oh, we got? Yeah. Um... There he is. He's injured. What? Oh, someone just helped that guy. Not anymore. <laughs> that was uh, a bit crazy. The 
think I've grabbed all I can. Okay, so I want to actually go there and do stuff, but uh, might be a bit tricky. Okay, so yeah, definitely taking a tunnel is probably the best way to get to the battery for next time. So we'll figure that out. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Those two guys are in the grass. What were they doing? Like, were they really searching for me all the way through? Yeah, I don't think that makes sense. Okay. So what do we got here? Looks like they're using the crane to offload shells from the U-boat. Now there's people in this hot, hot, hot house, whatever you want to call it. Can I get a better view from this side or no? No, not really. Tesco shot the target. <laughs> Did I? I can't remember. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I can actually climb down this side. Nice. Wait. Distance 179. Now, since I'm using sub, uh, subsonic ammunition, I don't make too much noise, so I might as well just mess about, right? But I would lose power over distance, wouldn't it? Yeah, damn it. Oh, great. Oh, cool. Make sure I'm falling down the right side of the uh, cliff. Oh, there's an enemy going into the house there. You go upstairs. Can't see anything on this side. Oh, there's one by the motorbike in the background. I'm trying to see if I can see this dude.
That's a guy I killed earlier. Itchy nose, sorry. Oh, birds. Gonna give me away. No one heard that, that's good. In the eye. And he hasn't seen the body that was behind him. Like all that time you're standing there, but you never see the body that was dead I shot earlier? Docks up ahead. Nazis look busy. Distance one forty. Can I see him? I've been prone. Uh, he's moving. I'll let him breathe for now. Just trying to say, see anybody else? Juicy. <laughs> and I saw him, Darren. Man, these guys let a flip, don't they? Oh, what? How about a video on your top load that's in Y? Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Um. Probably need to plan that out quite a bit. Okay, so how exactly were we supposed to do this normally? Moving this is it? Is it? Oh, nice. Oh, I see enemy right there. Nice. 
nice forward slip. Nice forward flip, but it didn't stick the landing, so uh 4.3. Can I see those explosives on the top of the tower? Oh, you can actually climb through this. Okay. So let me check. So explosives are yeah, tower is there. Oh no, I don't think we have a good shot. Okay, no. So hang on, let me just check if I mark near the explosives there. Don't think we do. Maybe. You know what? We'll, figure, we'll give it a shot. Why not? I'm not fast about taking out the target because we've done it before anyway. There's the lighthouse. Now that the guns are dealt with, I can signal the fleet to begin the assault. Didn't you say that before? Um. Cal. Okay, so. Hmm, I'm not sure. It's all a learning experience anyway, boys and girls, so let's see what we can do. Oops. Oops. Hey, where's the guy that I threw down here before? So after a while, dead bodies disappear if you're far away from them. Right. Oh, okay, Time fair to enough. Get off this island. No, we can't get it from here. Hmm, okay, that was interesting. And yeah, we learned something that we... Okay, we can't do it from here, but that's fair enough. Don't, 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 don't. I was going to just uh, reload a quick save I did near there, but don't worry about that. We'll do it differently. Yeah, let me get rid of uh, that little target. Don't really like seeing that on the game when I'm doing that. So from here, can I get it? Nice. Okay. Distance. 184. Let's go for 200 meters. Let's do a normal sh Nice! You know what? Seems like so close by to a target anyway, why not? Oh, this guy's uh having fun. Now are these guys talking once again? <laughs> Hey, that's his bodyguard. So if his bodyguard is not with him, where did the target actually disappear off to? Oh, 
a window. I might be able to get into Krauss's. So, this is their storage. I wonder if I can find anything useful here. Poison. Could be useful. Better move it, or I'll be discovered. Okay, really hate the pistols that don't have optics zoom on it. What does this do? Cuts power, yeah, but she got light, so. Herman Krauss, Nazi engineer. You're on my naughty list. What the hell? <laughs> this guy must have been bleeding drunk because he was just shooting where I was, not where. Yeah, where you know what? <laughs> um. We considered vision earlier sniper plate five entries. Uh, maybe not, to be honest. Um, like I didn't really play four much. Uh, to be honest, I played five before four, and then after going to play four, I really didn't really get into it. You know, my own personal opinion is that uh, because the rifles didn't have like suppressors, and you got to be so he can't just go around shooting stuff as quick as I would like to be. Uh, I relied heavily on sound masking in that, and also I found that the the movement, I guess after playing five, felt a bit weird in in four. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I probably won't do anything on like the previous Sniper Elite Five, uh, previous Sniper Elite videos. Like, would I go back and play the old ones? Uh, like, I got version two remastered, and then I played that. But I think because it feels so different compared to five now, maybe not. So we've done everything in the map, right? Yep, okay. Lights out. Proceed with the attack. You've played all the SE games at first. Four is the best overall, but five is most modern playing in my opinion. Yeah, no worries. I understand. Games are different. Like. Uh, you know, if you play Call of Duty now compared to the ones years ago, you're like, what? Like, I went back and played the original Modern Warfare 2 back in 2009 is when it came out, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, and I was just playing that for the campaign and then after I realized, wow, this feels so weird. Uh, how many did you kill? 106, nice. You made a naughty list. <laughs> Okay, so we've done that on authentic. Okay, I remember. I think I mentioned this last time. Why is it that the longer shot is not properly reflecting the actual longer shots I made in the game? Like, I know in Wolf Mountain I did four hundred fourteen meters. It's giving me four hundred fifty-two. It's like is a combination of two shots I've made or some other weird algorithm thingamajiggy. Um, this one thinks I've done a 519 meter long shot. No. And in Conqueror, it thinks I've done 437, where I know mine was 400 and... What's 100 410? Yeah, definitely not 437. So it's a bit weird how it counts that. But anyway. Um, SC3, SC5 have more in common than an even number entries. Have a soft spot for V2 Remastered 2. Yeah, I've probably got a soft spot for the first one because they always first came in. I just remembered, you know, playing it. It was a bit, I guess compared to now, it wasn't as, what's the word I'm trying to find? Trying to get used to the gameplay and the buttons and figuring things out. Especially, I didn't play that game on, like, on authentic mode or the realistic mode, right? So I always relied on um, the assistance. 
but also that one was hard to figure out, you know, where to shoot because I don't think it actually showed you where the bullet was going to apparently go based on the scope. So yeah, that's a bit different. Different difficulties, I think, affecting long shot on the menu there. Could be, yeah, but uh, how does that work? I have no idea. It's very strange. Anyway, um, so we've done that. Can I go to my service record, medals? So what's the medal we got for this one? Oh yeah, HS Master, ghost kills with this at, we only got 7 out of 25. We need 15 total, right? Yeah, 50 is the one you need. Okay, good enough. Um, and what about the... Oh, we haven't even used the DL Carbine. Okay, fair enough. So winning co. Okay, that's good. I just want to check something. Oops, I pressed the wrong button, I think. If I go to load out customization, click on this, go to this, check out the barrel. Okay, so we've done 20 out of 80 prone kills. Fair enough. Um, magazine. So we've done 3 out of 40 out of 15 meters. Yeah, that one up. It pretty much got to mess about to get all these ones right, which I'm not too fussed though. But yeah. Uh, and Iron Sights. Okay. Uh, SE4, real authentic difficulty. You have to save constantly, otherwise, you have to restart. Oh, okay. Is it because what? You get hammered by the enemy so easily? Uh, I guess over time, you know, when they make the games or they make new entries into the series, they decide, oh, nowadays, what do they think the majority of people would like? Uh, I guess back then, well, for me, first of all, back then, they could, that was, they were able to experiment more and trying to figure out whether games, gamers would like a play style like this. There'll be some those who are really into the hardcore version, so they want, you know, bullet drop, win, all those things. Uh, but then now, because I think so much time is put into the games and also uh, money also put in to get, get the profit, they need to think, okay, how much copies can we sell? So they got to put it towards the general public. Same thing with Call of Duty, you know. Uh, all this running gun stuff is not bad, but I prefer the older type where it's like a bit more slower paced, if anybody remembers back in the first uh, few Call of Duties, but that's just me. Anyway, um, give me a moment. I want to actually try a different game just to test it out, um, just to see how it looks like on stream. I was playing, testing out yesterday, see whether my computer can handle it. Of course it can because it's a few years old, um, but I'm just going to make a change and just only more for a test more than anything else because I just want to see what it looks like because you know games with a lot of grass a lot of environment uh, outdoors as well may not translate well on a stream um, because of the bitrate and stuff like that but uh, we'll see how it goes so let me just change the stream there we go I'm, just, I'm still here I'm just uh, getting out of this window and going to something else so this would be more, more of a test than anything else guys so let's just see what we can do. Um, have I set it up properly? I think I might have. I need to actually load up something. So, grab me for a moment. But uh, while this is going through, once again, I want to thank everybody for dropping by, saying hello, having a chat, liking, following, or subscribing, commenting. It does mean a lot. Um, you know, just having a chat with you guys while I'm playing these games and, you know, you give me ideas of what to do and also, um, you know, certain aspects we can find out in this game. Um, let me just load something up. But uh, yeah, so just waiting for this to do its thing. Huh? Have you played any other Sniper Ghost Warrior contract games? I uh, know I haven't actually. Um, I don't know. I think it just feels a bit weird in terms of playing this. So let me for a second. I'm just trying to load up the game. It's actually, yeah, there it is. Let me just minimize that. Let's see if this loads up. So as I said, this is going to be a bit more of a test um, than anything else for this other game. I played this game to bits beforehand. I haven't mentioned the name yet. Bit of a surprise for you guys. I'm sure you'll figure it out soon enough if you've played it already. Uh, I just want to see what it looks like in, on stream. So I guess you go back and take a look on the quality and see whether it's maybe something I might want to do. If it looks like really bad, I might need to change a few things or forget it altogether. But let me just see if it loads up. And we'll see how we go, but it will be more for a test, so... Come on, game, what are you doing? One thing I tend to um, favor about Sniper Elite 5 now is that it loads up pretty quickly in comparison to other games I want to play. Like, if I want to play Call of Duty, the new one, that takes forever to load up sometimes. Um, and 
new games as well. Some new games really are quick, like um, Spider Man on PC. That was really good. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn is really good as well. Um, and let me just load. Sorry, let me just bring this up. Hang on, let me just. Where's my button? Does this work? I might only need to play around the volume as well. Okay, that's probably on my stream. That's good. Nvidia. I remember the old way you used to say Nvidia. Yep, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Okay, so I just want to test it out to see if it actually runs well on this. Um, you know what? Let's do a new game. Progress made on save slot is not available on other save slots. Do you really want to start playing a new slave slot? Of course. What are you talking about? Hey, Raven. This game is so much fun. Yeah, I really loved it. Um, in comparison to Breakpoint, I prefer this because it just seemed to be much better. But uh, Contracts 2 is still trying to master game mechanics. Yeah, games after time, they change over and over. Let me just change the appearance. Okay. So, we can have some fun with some character creation stuff. So... Do I have a mirror here? Sort of. Okay, I'm going to assume what I think I look like. Um, I think I actually tr chose Eagle at the time, didn't I? Eagle? Yep. My eye color, my eyes are brown. My facial hair, well, at the moment I got none. Mm. There's no, like, 5 o'clock shadow stuff, so I'll go none. Okay. Um, Hair... Well, I'm losing my hair anyway. Um, Still shaved, yep. Hair color, black. What's that left? Facial detail. Ooh, ooh, burn. Oh, nope. Defeat Elway. Oh, yeah, all this unlock stuff. Um, Breakpoint starts at this point after this. Yeah, they... Okay, so I've, I got I got Breakpoint released. So I, I played the closed beta of Breakpoint, like got into that, and then the whole idea that you're supposed to be in a team, right? But when they made Breakpoint, they said, "Oh, you're pretty much playing solo." And of course, you play the you played most of the game solo. Like I finished it when they just had the solo part of it, and it wasn't you know later on because of the feedback from the community was saying, "Where's the AI teammates? You need them." So then they put them in, and they introduced what was called the whole the ghost experience to add. Because they added in breakpoint like weapon uh, levels, like outfit levels, like you know something. Why would you bother with different levels and weapons? You just get a gun and you use it, or you get an item and you use it like, from now on, right? Um, so they changed it so much, and, and it's good on them that they made so much customizations that you can have whether you want the drones in the sky, whether you want um, certain aspects to happen, and all these things. So. Um, Okay, as much as I think I look like that, I don't think I do, but that's the closest we're going to get, right? Okay, appearance. Um, body details? I've got no tattoos. Clothes. Tops. One thing I'll give for sure that they added so much into this. Actually, let me change the 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 ghillie suit. Why did they give me a ghillie suit at the start? I don't want the ghillie suit. None. Okay, tops. Uh, it was forced online that really killed it for me and all the RPG upgrade nonsense, all the loot stuff. Yeah, the whole looting stuff is what kind of like ruined it. So, you know, to get better weapons or if you want the better weapons, you gotta like go around collecting stuff, which is a bit annoying. Like, just give me a weapon I like and that's it. Don't worry about levels. And it was good that they actually made the option that you can get rid of levels in the game. So, um, ooh, hoodie, long sleeve shirt. I like how they put their own stuff into it. So... Uh, that's a Ghost Recon t-shirt. Um. Okay, we're in Bolivia, so it's going to be quite hot. That's just a normal t-shirt, okay. Ooh, what kind of vest do I want? <laughs> I remember they got exoskeleton and other stuff. No. So many things you got to do to do uh, to unlock other stuff. Okay, let's do. Let's do that one. P 
pants. I always like cargo pants, but what else have we got? Anything new I haven't seen over years? Llama pants. Tank pants. Cargo. Mm, tactical, tactical. Let's do that. In case you change color, right? Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. God damn it. Um... Yeah, let's go with that. Oops, hang on, why did that work? Okay, fine. Yeah, if I can change the shirt color too, right? Um, fashion, baby. Yeah, why not? Okay. Um, footwear. I think my my uh, texture quality on medium, so it might not look the best. Let's do hiking shoes. Why not? Can you change color? Oh, you can too. Uh, stick to black. Okay. Ghillie suits, none. Accessories. Oh, eyewear. <laughs> what the hell? Uh... It felt too much an MMO. Yeah, Ghost Recon. Yeah, I know. That's a thing. So, Breakpoint was a bit weird. What the hell is this? Oh, that's from like uh, Ghost Recon, the Future Soldier. Nice. What the hell? It's like Ready Player One. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these are nuts. Um... I'll do none for now. Why not? Face wear? Ooh. Hey, what's this? Oh, Splinter Cell. When's the new Splinter Cell coming out? God damn it. I think it's too hot to wear that, so... They really put a lot of cosmetics into this, which is fun, but don't make me waste time. Dutch a cigar. Oh, that's a throwback to Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Shay Mag? Yeah, let's get that in. Um, yeah, let's put a light color instead. Headwear. Um, wow, there's a lot, yeah. Ooh, that's nice. Let's do just baseball cap and leave it at color. Why not? Um, backpack. Holy crap. Um, wow. Oh, the drone one. No, camelback. Let's do camelback. Why not? And patches. Oh, nice. Um, nah, not too fast about patches, so that's fine. What did it look like? Eh, not too bad. Special outfits? No. Costumes? No, okay. Let's do that. Um, you can change difficulty in pause menu. Advanced. Regular. Let's do advanced. Okay, let's see what this looks like once we load in and do everything. We've got the um, cutscenes and st all that stuff, right? Ubisoft presents in association with something something the Ubisoft Paris production. Oh, do I have subtitles on? Don't know. Here a while. 
I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. <laughs> I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. <laughs> it's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. This game is really well done. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for elsewhere you. But it was just a shame that Breakpoint was, wasn't done well. It was absolutely terrible on release. I still played it because I want I like Ghost Recon, but he's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken down the poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pat Katari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. <laughs> Four soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pat Katari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. Any graphical glitches? Let me know, guys, because... Yeah. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Qataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amado is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. <laughs> yeah, just checking graphics on my side because... My OBS is flashing a bit, just the program itself is flashing, nothing else but still. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. You're not online, blah 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 blah, no worries. Okay, so we started off with this weapon.
Hey, I remember all this now. Damn, that's a lot. Um, it's also weird you get so many weapons to choose from. Um, no doubt. Why not? Mm hmm. Assault rifle. Can I put parts in it already? Parts. I'll just mess about the, the default stuff for now, but let me just get a sniper rifle. Um, which one did I use before? I can't remember. All different. It was the HTI. Semi automatic three round burst. Got this one. Um, oh, that's an actual one that you can't you can't change it, can you? No. Um, what's this? What's this? Damage, accuracy, range, range, refine, noise reduction. Ah, let's just choose this. What? There's no. It's all. It's all pre-made. Oh, the ones with actual names are pre-made. Okay, I think that's right. Um, let's try this one. There we go. Uh, muzzle. Suppressor. Barrel. Well, long for sure. Magazine. Standard. Why didn't you unlock this one? Uh, explore stuff. Semi automatic scope. Um, 4.5555. Nah, I just leave it to what it's got. Yeah, okay, no worries. Uh, drones. I haven't unlocked that yet. Handgun. Um,. Uh, Okay, that would do, but is that fine? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca. Okay, whatever. Uh, we need a scope on this for sure. I can't. I haven't locked, unlocked anything. Oh, God damn it! I need to change weapon. Do I have the AK? No, I haven't unlocked anything in this playthrough. But you can choose things to unlock through Ubisoft. It's kind of like it's like uh, what's the word I'm trying to find? Cheat mode. Uh, no, that's fine. We'll stick to what we got. Okay. Uh, let's grab into a car. Let's go. Turn radio off. Was there an option in the audio settings that radio can be off already? There we go. Good. Just in case, don't want any um. Copyright strikes, I doubt it, but better not anyway. Okay. Ooh, a bit chuggy in graphics. Hmm, I think it's because I'm streaming at the same time, so graphics card is being pushed. And of course, I think it's because of the uh, CPU is not the best, well, in comparison to today, but. Whoop. Yeah, it's quite chuggy. 
I gotta turn a few things down. And let's do let's do a quick check on our video graphics. Um, draw distance, medium level detail. La 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 la. Hi hi hi. Let's change this. It's not the anti alien scene that stuff things up, right? And the shadows. Uh, let's just put that to that. Okay, anti anything off makes it look a bit jittery, but yeah, not the best. Okay, a bit of pop up. Probably because I'm also yeah streaming like all the grass stuff. That's the problem. If I look on the ground, yeah, it's not too bad. Better frames, but when I'm looking like distance and stuff like that, yeah. Okay, let's try graphics again. Uh, turn all that off. Draw distance on the medium level detail, high texture quality, medium or less than the high terrain quality, low, maybe terrain, shadows, medium, vegetation. Try low. That could be it. Okay, let's see if this makes any difference. Okay, that felt a bit smoother, but I don't know. But I'll check to see what the game looks like in, on stream after this, so I'm gonna get my own idea. But yeah, this is just a test out to see whether how the game plays or how it works. Ready? Open fire. Oops, don't open fire. Copy that. Opening fire. Not really the best thing to do. Kind of told these guys where I am already, so. I don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. We poked the horn. Eyes nest. on the target. Let's move. Nope, they know where you are. Someone here. Yeah. They're going to be on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? Damn. Uh, me. We're clear over here. Moving. I'm going to bother picking up stuff at the moment, just uh. Looks like the villain broke it. Where is he? He's down there, is he? I tell a team to Movement feels a bit clunky in comparison to say like Sniper Elite 5. I guess it's an older game, right? Okay. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No enciendas? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Dunk. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. One thing that I didn't like when they, from this game to Breakpoint is that they pretty much, you know, most of your team don't didn't exist anymore, which is like, what? Kind of ruined it. 
you know, I would have thought that you know you and your team would survive and and uh, work work together to do what they need. Yeah, okay. I think because I'm streaming at the same time, it doesn't like the graphics for some reason. Or not it doesn't like the gameplay. Let me just see. Is there a way to check something? Hang on. There's no like choosing like which DX version it uses. I think because if some games use DX12, OBS doesn't like it too much. I could be wrong. So, oops, nearly killed somebody. Yeah, this is chugging quite a bit on my side. I'm not sure what it looks like on the stream, guys. Sorry about that. But yeah, as I say, this is more just testing things out just to see what it's like. So I'll complete one. I'll complete the, the, the first mission to save this guy and then we'll see from there. Well, nope. Yeah, this is a good game. I remember playing this when it first came out. Really enjoyed it. Um, oops, 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 oops. Yeah. Even though the game is telling me I'm getting 90 frames a second, it doesn't feel like it. Like, uh, hang on, let me check then. Options. Why does it not feel like it? Borderless? Hang on, change that to... Is that what's causing it? Full screen. That could be it. Okay, that's a bit better now. God damn it! Why did the game change to borderless? Yeah. Okay, that's a lot smoother now. Even though it's still a bit off, it's a bit better. Oh, got a drone. There we go. Forgot about that. Um, Spotting another tango. So easy to spot enemies in this. You just hover it and that's it. Tango Mark. He's a little close to civilians. How many quick, how many, I'm over only two, one two. person I can do a quick, uh, sync shot with. Over time you unlock it, Good right? Yeah, so. Hmm. Damn it. <clears throat> that guy's history. We're good. Backing We're good. up on a glacial farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. Rally on me. Roger that. Driving skills. Oh, did something happen to the chat? Sorry, guys. Did... Did chat not work for a moment? Damn it, pressing the wrong button. Because uh, stream elements just started again, so I'm not too sure what happened there. I like how the game you can give it first person or third person, just like a uh, sniper elite. Driving skills. <laughs> Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here. Let me just chain grab this while I'm here. Weapons case. This will go nice with my boots. Scope, nice. Actually, can I use that now? Sweet, that helps a lot. 
I like how you use, you use a tag supplies and items and all in this game. It gets repetitive, but it's pretty fun. And the helicopters I found was quite strange to uh, control. It took a while for me to get used to it. And also, yeah, one thing I found is that um, the helicopter helicopter controls in this is a lot more friendlier or easier in a way than what they did in Breakpoint. Like in this one, you could turn around like with the camera, free look and everything. You can uh, like you know tilt a bit and do everything like that. But in in Breakpoint, they made the helicopter controls too. I guess simplistic, so you didn't have so much uh, freedom of movement at times. But that's just me anyway, so. But at least in Breakpoint, I like the idea how they made it that um, you're on an island in the middle of the ocean, so they were free to experiment on what they wanted to do in the world. Hey, don't forget, I remember in Wildlands, they actually did a... Um, a crossover with Predator, so you actually had to take out the Predator in here, which is great. Uh, and then in, in Breakpoint, they did like a Terminator crossover as well. Not the best, but uh, I didn't really play it too much. But this one, when they introduced the Predator, it's like you gotta search for clues, find out where it is, and when you encounter it, that Predator fight was nuts, man. It was great. I like it when they do like crossovers that actually work well. It's all good, I'm just expecting. Hey, no worries, mate. Cheers for that. Yeah, I thought for some reason it's suddenly stuffed up. Ooh, found a weapon. Sniper rifle? Awesome. Yep, I remember that now. Uh, check weapon. So, hang on. Can I compare the two? Compare the market? Uh, sniper rifle. What was it? This one, wasn't it? Lower range, rate of fire, but it's got better accuracy and handling. You know what? We'll give that a shot. Uh, parts, suppressor. And a barrel sight, scope. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, not bad. Okay, cool. Yeah, I keep getting the message that stream elements is running on my chat, so I thought the chat is breaking up or stuffing up somehow. Hmm. Okay, so I figured out that for some reason the game was on borderless, so full screen seems to run better. Seems to be okay. Let me just check something else as well. Were their names Yuri and Polito? Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them Damn, I can't. I, I don't remember the graphics looking this bad in terms of facial features and stuff. Maybe because I turned it down a bit. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's got to know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Standard uh, Ghost Recon formula is like go year, complete everything, go year, complete everything, go year, complete everything, and same old stuff. But uh, yeah. Okay, give me a second. If I change the graphics again, uh, draw distance, no, leave on a medium. Uh, this one I can change to that. Anti aliasing, not too much, everything. Go put this back to high. Apply that. Yeah, if you've got a really powerful PC, you can have everything on max. I think if I put everything on max, I get like maybe 60 to 70 frames, which I don't like. I look like higher, of course. But damn, this still looks good no matter what. Oh, I remember the videos. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. The guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. Very <laughs> active on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We 
find the intel, we track them down, we take them out. That's one thing I also remember I, mi I missed from uh, when they did the breakpoint. Because in breakpoint, when you played for the first time, or before they fixed the game up, it was just you going solo. Uh, so there's like no chatter between you and your teammates. But now because this one, you know, you got team and everything, so that's great. But it's just a strange that, uh, yeah, they didn't do anything. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Roger. Engaging. Take them up, boys. Of course we been spotted, what do you mean? Of course we're shooting the crap out of things. Let me get out, let me get out. There's a collectible here, wasn't there? There it is. Meadows of some sort. Yep. Oh no, skill points. Are you enemy? Yeah. Uh, the go last Ghost Recon I played was Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. Oh, yeah, that was actually pretty good. I like that. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you might be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Katari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. What's well, weird, if you look at the, mi the mini map on the bottom right, it's like, oh, there's nothing in the housey house in front of us. But if you aim down the sights, hey, look, there's something there. Green color are the little collectibles to help you get enough points to, um, What's the word? Uh, level up your... Uh, what? Try to remember? The rebel assistance, yeah. I remember this, yeah. So if we do like... Skills, rebel support, there we go. You need all these points to help out. And they need all these uh, items like fuel, medicine, uh, communications and food to choose what you want to put your points into. Wasn't too bad. Like after after you like get all the points and build up everything on your character, you pretty much become overpowered. But uh, yeah, but of course, it does seem to get a bit um, repetitive over time. But one of the games I actually did enjoy just uh, because I wanted to complete it. Actually, quite good uh, traversing the land, uh, doing helicopters rides and everything. I remember when I first saw the trailer for this. They had, what music? They had like a really kick-ass music intro and everything. But uh, you know, the whole idea that you can do what you want. Oh, this helicopter's got miniguns. I remember this. I'm on. So, like... Yeah, but not accurate because you can't really know where you're aiming when you're doing that, so... But you're, you're like, quite free to do what you want, which is great. Like you can go pretty high and then you jump out and parachute, which is sweet as well. I didn't want this to do on the map. Just to investigate all this crap, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it. You need the intel to um, know which where to go later on to unlock the map. Like, you know, I got all these all these bad guys trying to take out to get to the main boss guy and the different difficulties you can see, like Four scales, three scales, one scale. We start off with to find out where these guys are located. Uh, you got to pretty much do all the folder missions and all that. So it's actually pretty interesting. But yeah, but then when they did breakpoint, oh, that's a bit of a letdown. So that's also pretty cool. Like in the map, whatever you can see, you can pretty much go to, uh, except some other places, of course. Try something out. Uh, I'm pressing a button. What? I can't parachute? Oh, I don't. I haven't unlocked parachutes yet. That's it. Hang on. Uh, skills. I forgot about that because you actually need to unlock it before you can do it. Parachute. There we go. 
Oh, I'm missing. How much am I missing? I'm missing Intel. 550, only got 100. Ah, okay. Yeah, now I remember. That's the thing. Why can't I have parachute? <laughs> That'd be strange. Jump out. Whoops, no parachute. Game over. But yeah, it looks pretty straight. Uh, let me just fly down to the ground and then do a bit of um, flybys just to test out what the game looks like on stream as well. Look, in all honesty, I don't know if I'll stream this because I just want to see what it looks like. But also, it's not as... um, What's the word I'm trying to find? I guess for lack of a better term, not as interesting as Sniper Elite because, you know, you got the enemies and kills and everything. They can look pretty awesome. This one, you're pretty much repeating over and over the same thing again. So, yeah. I used to be able to fly pretty, pretty, pretty fast and close to the ground. And I remember, like, years ago I played this on, uh, I don't know what they call it. Not hardcore mode, but there's a permanent permanent death mode as well. Um, so I was lucky that I had the AI teammates because a few times I died. Well, I died, but they resuscitated me, which was great. But uh, yeah. Trey. Okay, cool. Interesting. Um, okay. Yeah, that's actually uh, just testing out, see what it's like and everything. Um, as I said, don't know if I stream that, but definitely do more Sniper Elite 5 stuff as, as well. Just playing around with what I think uh, might be of uh, interest but uh, or, or something to mess about with as time goes on. Uh, but yeah, really hoping that they do more Sniper Elite content or Sniper Elite 5 content. Obviously, you've got a lot of things to do or possibilities. You guys always give me ideas of what I can do. There's also other stuff I want to try and figure out in the game to to uh, make content on. Uh, but yeah, definitely um, yeah, food for thought in terms of whether Wildlands is interested, interesting or not, I believe. Um, I don't know. I think because they're so, it's quite big on a big scale um, and very repetitive, so maybe not. But at least in Sniper Elite 5, every single mission there's something unique or that you can do different playthroughs and mess about. And I guess it's because it's also more um, current uh, than this game. So, but yeah, all the, all the Ghost Recon games I've loved that I've, that I've played. Um, and I, know, I did play Advanced Warfighter back in the day. I finished that. That's actually quite good. Um, quite difficult as well in comparison i did try warfighter 2 but there's so much that i remember the ghost recon the old ghost recon there's so much emphasis on on micromanaging every squad member like you tell them where to go where to look where to cover which is good in a way but you know nowadays it's not really the the best thing possible but hell hopefully if they do another ghost recon they can learn from it and see what they can do uh hopefully they focus more on putting Splinter Cell as well. I know they are making it and and see what happens. I think, unfortunately, that a couple of days ago, Ubisoft mentioned that they've cancelled a few unannounced games already. So if there was talk of maybe a new Ghost Recon, um, may, I think people say maybe potentially a new Division as well, that might have been cancelled, but see how what happens in the future. But ever since they already announced a new Splinter Cell, hopefully we see more of that. Um, I really want to see what other games are coming out. Like, I guess in a perfect world, if I was able to play the new Splinter Cell and stream that, I would. Same goes for maybe the new Perfect Dark whenever that comes out. Um, the new Transformers game, Transformers Reactivate, that from the announcement trailer looks interesting, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, a lot of games are out there. Hopefully, we have more interesting ones come out soon. But yeah, I'm not too sure. Every time I try to think what game's coming out, I forget until I actually search online to find out what's happening. But who knows anyway. Uh, but yeah. So we will leave it like that in a moment. Bear with me for a tick while I out turn. Hopefully it doesn't crash the game. Um, yeah, let me just do that. <coughs> Still running in the background, so that's fine. No problems there. Um, so give me a moment. <coughs> 
just want to go through and thank everybody for dropping by. Um, Leandro, thanks for dropping by. Mate. Um, stream elements. I need to look in the stream elements. It's a bit iffy on if you do repeat um, keys or repeat icons or emotes. It doesn't like it, so I'll look into that afterwards. Uh, let's see. Starry Bev dropping by from Florida. Thank you. Larry Jones from Oklahoma. Uh, Miss Dixon from Sweden. Uh, Put up us. Uh, Brendan, as usual, Dean, as usual, Garth, thank you, we're from Australia as well, um, Man United, Andy, yep, um, hope, if I'm missing anybody, sorry, but I'm just going through quickly, uh, Raven, thank you very much for dropping by, everybody for dropping by for a moment, uh, just say hello, that's great, uh, the L Brothers, thank you as well, thank you for your sub that popped on the stream, as I mentioned before, if anybody subscribed to the channel and it doesn't pop up, it could very well mean that you've got your subscription set to private, perfectly fine. I do the same thing too, so uh, if you're wondering why subscriptions don't pop up when you do, press the sub button, that could be the reason, but thanks very much. Um, who else? Is anybody else I'm missing? Sorry, just going through quickly. If I miss any names, once again, sorry. Uh, Robbie, thanks for dropping by as well. Um, Taz MG Gaming, hey, how's it going, mate? Sorry, I didn't see you there for a bit, but as well. Darren, thank you. Um, anybody else I'm missing? I don't think so. I think that could be it yeah so cheers guys once again appreciate you dropping by giving me company while i play sniper elite 5 um still got more video ideas in the works for sniper elite 5 i'm just trying to think how to make them or what to how to configure them the idea of making putting my load out that's a good one actually thanks uh whoever mentioned that forgot i might need to read through again but yeah that's a good my preferred loadout or, or what i feel as though should be comfortable um yeah, that one might take some work to actually figure out what, how to do or how to to do that. So maybe that will be in the pipeline in the future. Hopefully we get more content coming through. Look, I understand game companies, especially the ones that are not well, not big. Um, we don't exactly know what they plan or what they want to do. But of course, they probably do want to put more content. But depending on other circumstances, it's yay or nay. So hopefully they do, but we never know exactly, do we? So um, yeah, and as I said... Just testing out uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands if you want to stream that. Um, Breakpoint, probably not so much because it wasn't such a great game. Wildlands was actually good, so I enjoy that, but uh, it's very repetitive in what you need to do, so maybe, maybe not. But I just wanted to see what it looked like on the stream. I did stream it many years ago when I was on Twitch, um, and that was fun. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes this one. And maybe I might come across some other games that might take my interest, but we'll see from there. Um, so hopefully the stream didn't cause any issues with graphics. I know for some reason it was popping on my side that it was having problems, but it seems to be okay down the down the pipe, so that's good. But uh, yeah, we will leave it like that for now. But once again, everybody, thanks for thanks for the subs, the comments, the likes, everything like that. Uh, whenever I put a post on the community tab, you guys always respond well. That's great. Kind of blown away that um, so many people voted when I put the the poll on whether I do more Sniper Elite Five stuff or if I try a different uh, first person or third person game. So yeah, we'll do more Sniper Elite Five, of course, because uh, I guess everybody enjoys it. So that's great. And um, other things we need to figure out too as well. Um, but yeah, so last count we had subs at 863. It's probably gone up at least by one, thanks to the L Brothers. Thank you very much. Uh, and then, as I said, slowly making way to the first goal of 1,000. And then from there, I can see what I can do. I think I can probably do like emotes or something for the channel. We'll see how that plays out, but uh, we'll work it out eventually. But uh, yeah, so... Next stream at this stage will be Sunday, as usual, on my side. Um, and then more videos in the meantime. If you got any ideas or stuff, feel free to just comment them in any of the videos or even the community tab. I've always, uh, keep, always check to see if there's anything new. Um, and then if I've, I've got any thoughts, I'll always post it on community tab too. And um, you guys always comment and like and all those things as usual. So I do appreciate that. But uh, ooh, losing my voice now and also my train of thought. I uh, probably need to go and eat something as well. <laughs> Feeling a bit uh, tired at the moment. Uh, that's just me. Probably not getting enough sleep, but yeah, it kind of gets warm over here. Um, it might be a hot one next week as well, yeah, but so we see how how that all goes. Um, yeah, cool. Um, don't think of anything else. I'm sure I'm going to miss something once I end the stream, but uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Hope you have a good rest of the weekend. Uh, if it's uh, evening morning afternoon wherever you are take it easy be safe um 
We'll be back with more Sniper Elite 5 next week. Still wrecking the brain of what else could be possible in the works. Um, tested out Ghost Recon Wildlands today. I'll check it out to see what it looks like. Um, just want to see, I guess, in terms of whether it looks watchable or not. I can understand with the bit rate sometimes going up and down. It might not be, but uh, we'll see how we go. And what other first-person shooters, third-person shooters out there that's available? Hopefully we, um, something that could be interesting. I know there's some games that... I've been announced, but also some new ones looks as though they're good, but uh, yeah, it's a bit hard to see or know which one we take take people's fancy. But anyway, more stuff later on. We'll continue as well. But uh, cheers, guys. Much appreciated. And we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.